Art show curator Jose Rizzo and collector Benny Dunphy are proud to present Billy Foster's Appalachia to solidify Foster's legacy as a West Virginia artist. Newswatch reporter Julian Risberg saw the show firsthand and has the story. He really depicted a lot of coal mining scenes, a lot of Appalachian scenes, rural scenes, uh, you know, moonshiny people, and then just really a lot of Native American stuff. But a lot of the, the, the images that he produced were were pretty much just off the top of his head, largely self-taught. Benny Dunphy was a longtime friend of the late Billy Foster and for the past 25 years has collected 155 of the artist's pieces. I met him in the early 90s at the uh, company store down at Robson, Dave Woods. <clears throat> Got talking to him and started buying his art and uh, I just loved him. I loved the stories behind him and the quotes. And it's like working a jigsaw puzzle trying to figure out. Show curator Jose Rizzo likes Foster's pen and ink drawings. They're very, very detailed. You can see all the shading that he did. And I just think that's some of his best work. According to Dunphy, Foster was in and out of jail over his lifetime and spent 28 years in Moundsville Penitentiary. But art was his saving grace. He got into prison. He started doing art and uh, helped him a lot, like escape, you know, he lived in the pictures to the, in, the, in the prison. All the guards liked him just by doing art. Uh, he got a lot of breaks. Among Dunphy's favorite Foster pieces include one with the West Virginia seal and others with leather. This exhibit means so much to the collector. It's a, real emotional. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I mean, we're, he became a close friend, right? You must miss him a lot. Yes. Besides the historic Billy Foster pictures, the show highlights 17 local West Virginia artists. I'm just really happy to be part of this, obviously, to put the show together and to partner with, with great organizations in our, in our community. In Beckley, multimedia journalist Jillian Risberg for Newswatch.